What's up guys? Happy Thanksgiving to all of you. Hope it's an amazing day for you. Um, we're working and that's just kind of what it is. That's what we do every day. Um, being full-time resellers, you know, Thanksgiving, you know, holidays, you know, what's a Sunday? A Sunday is a work day. Um, but we reorganized this, so I'm going to turn that way in a second. But if you watched the video um, about us, you know, buying all those boxes, the last video we posted, you got a, a look back here, and you couldn't really see the floor. It was just a mess. Um, we have shelving back here that's built in. It was really nice. I'll go ahead and show you. Anyways, we started with this area right here. You can see there's a, there's a floor now down here. Um, but this table was a mess, kind of got it organized. Um, we got a good local deal here. We got uh, 500 of these guys. They're five by nines, perfect for mass market paperbacks and other small things. We do a lot of, well, I can't find them now. Anyways, we do a lot of these little lids. I think this might be them right in here, yeah. Now, I posted a video months ago uh, about these guys. We got a bunch of these guys for a quarter a piece, and we sell them on Amazon for about six to seven, um, sometimes seven ninety nine. dollars um, And these guys fit perfectly in these guys. So it was really nice. We got 500 of these for $25 locally. Um, I'm gonna see if the guy has another case, because we might actually just start selling them. I mean, you can make money on eBay at that, even with free shipping. But as you can see, all of our boxes here are labeled. So we have like a manifest or inventory list of what's on here. So while it looks daunting that, you know, you sell something, you have to come and get one of these boxes, um, all the boxes are clearly labeled. Of course, there's some things that don't fit in the boxes, but it's how we have evolved storing this many things. Um, we have some breakables on actual open shelves. This guy's really cool. Picked this up not that long ago. It's a 1950s tin toy, satellite toy. Let's see, Cragston Satellite. So, just a really cool old tin toy. Tin toys do really good. Um, we're going to come back here and show you really what, what she's been working on. Unicorn. Uh, what she's been working on is all of this. Now... This is just clothing upon clothing, just for days. And we ordered all of these, well, she ordered all of these poly bags. Let me pull one out without messing up her. Yeah, this is perfect. We ordered all these poly bags. We paid 10 cents a poly bag and just went through and labeled them. Ordered them by size. So you have smalls, mediums, large. Uh, like small women's, small men's, medium women's, medium men's, so on and so forth, all the way down. So you get that so you kind of know um, where to look for things. Because our biggest issue was sale comes in, that's amazing. Now it takes us, you know, sometimes a couple days to find something. Because when none of this was labeled, you know, it, you could have 35, 50, 60 you know, of a certain color so that you can't really look for a color when you sell something and you're trying to find it. Um, so we just did this and it's a really great investment, total investment, like um, 60 bucks in poly bags. We had to get 600 poly bags, um, but it was totally worth it. So we're storing clothing like that by size, poly bag label. Um, we are storing breakables and stuff like that on just kind of open shelving. We're not putting that in the boxes. Uh, as you can see, we have some light cardboard items sitting on top of all that. And then all of our stuff that's not breakable, you know, we just throw it in here. Um, so, for instance, we have pop dolls. Um, we have tiki torch canisters, uh, Lisa Frank pins, sorted VHS tapes. So, just a lot of, a lot of stuff that's not going to break. But... That is a quick rundown of how we're storing, you know, over 2,000 items in inventory. We have more out there, but that's mainly just a death pile. Um, I can take you guys out there real quick, show you the boxes. Got a little perch right there. Um, but we have books hiding back here. 
so. Other than all of those books out there and all the boxes out there, this is, you know, the rest of our inventory. Now our death pile is scattered between um, another room in the basement and upstairs. Now I have, if you're in the Facebook group or you saw the unboxing for the lighting kit, I actually have the lighting kit set up upstairs. I built a box platform um, for it and I'm going to go through my lighting setup probably in the next one or two videos for you guys just so you can see how I'm doing it. Uh, show you guys a few examples of kind of the picture quality so I'll put that up there for you guys when I do that video but really just wanting to kind of break down how we do it all. Um, you know we are full-time neither of us have had a job in you know over a year now and it's been sustainable it's been sustainable but it's been you know it's been a lot of work it's been crazy hard it's been you know sometimes three hours a night sleep because you are lowering your prices on Amazon you are making sure you get top rated plus badges on all your eBay listings you're cross posting on two Mercari accounts two Poshmark accounts you are constantly trying to send in FBA shipments while you know outsourcing uh, for your eBay and Mercari stores, you are trying to build affiliate links, you're building blog posts, you know, uh, reselling isn't the only thing I do. Um, you know, I also do affiliate marketing, I dabble in drop shipping, I have other channels of income as well. And that's something I encourage every reseller to do. Because, you know, branching out is how the biggest trees in the forest grow. You know, if you seriously think about it, got to branch out. So um, I have a couple videos on affiliate marketing, not sure if you guys have seen those. If you want me to do more videos on my other streams of income, um, if that's something you guys would like, leave it in the comment below. But otherwise, go out there and kill it, go make some money. And it is Thanksgiving, so don't get on yourself if you take a day off and relax. Just because I'm working, you know, doesn't mean that you're not in a different spot and you need the break, you need the relaxation. So go out there, have a great day in whatever you're doing, and I will talk to you guys soon.